Hello, I wanted to offer up a quick review of the Wavebone Voyager studio chair. Uh, this is my first review on YouTube, but I don't see anyone else having a review about this chair on YouTube, so I figured I'd record one and maybe help you folks out if you're trying to decide whether to buy it. Uh, I did buy this myself, not sponsored or anything like that. I uh, just started seeing ads for this on Facebook when I was looking to buy a new chair with no arms or foldable arms and of course the ads then followed me around and next thing you know I'm seeing this chair with arms that fold down. So Wavebone is uh, I guess a studio equipment manufacturer so they're focused on musicians and studio equipment and it's the only chair I could find with arms that do this. Um, uh, anyway, so I got one. I did get the mesh bottom. There's also a cushion bottom. And so far, I really like it. I've had it for about a week. Uh, I do work down here. I'm down here for at least eight hours a day. Uh, so I've gotten probably four or five days of, of you know, full days working in this chair, and it's comfortable. Um, so a few notes about it to, uh, that I want to point out. First, it comes in a big box. You assemble it. Assembly is easy. Uh, no issues. Though I did have a problem when it when I first assembled it, it does lean back, right? So it does have a lean. I did not get it to work. I was trying everything. My lock had gotten jammed. I wasn't sure that there was a lock. There's no actual sticker or anything that says in and out is a lock, up and down is to, you know, I mean, that's how chairs work, but I could not get this thing to budge. Um, Took me until the second day to finally kind of crank it out and then uh, now it does lock and then lock. So in case you get yours and the same thing happens, uh, just have to kind of manhandle it and jiggle that out of there. I don't know if it was a little bent or whatever. Uh, so that was a, a weird experience, but it does work and everything else is great about it. Um, the arms are very adjustable. They do go up and down. They do go side to side. And they do go front to back. So a lot of adjustment options there. Um, as you saw, you can lean back and there's the twisty thing to make it uh, tighter so it's not so easy to fall back and you can lock it and it goes up and down, of course. Now the mesh itself, uh, it feels pretty plasticky. My last chair, which was Amazon, uh, at the time it was $70, I see it's now $50. Uh, this is just like their standard mid-back mesh chair. This feels more fabric-y and on some more higher end chairs it, that, that I felt it also feels more fabric-y. This to my hand feels more plasticky. doesn't feel as nice when you're rubbing your hand on it. It feels pretty rough. However, that being said, when you sit in it, you don't really feel it. Uh, I even tried sitting in it with my shirt off just kind of for this review, you know, rubbing against it and seeing if it was really abrasive, and it really wasn't. So to the hand, it does feel not as nice, quite frankly, but sitting in it for days so far, it has not been an issue at all. Um, your mileage may vary, of course. Another thing, I did get the, the uh, mesh bottom, and they offer a cushion bottom, and they show on their website, cutesy little feature where they have a pick pocket, a little pocket where you can put guitar picks and stuff in, right? Uh, it doesn't mention that's not available on the mesh chair. Maybe that should be obvious. Uh, I don't know. I didn't think of it. I saw that and I, didn't, I don't know if I didn't even use it, but FYI, that is not available on the mesh bottom chair and that's not really stated either. Um, another feature about it that they speak about on their site is that in the back here, you can uh, you can put cables, guitar cables, and store them there. I didn't think that sounded interesting to me. I have places to store my cables. If you think you'll use that, you know, it's basically just a little pocket that will hold cables. I put two or three cables in it yesterday, and I was curious to see if you feel it through the back, if it's going to be uncomfortable. Uh, and it's not. I didn't feel it at all. I sat in it probably for an hour like that with three guitar cables back there. Personally, again, I'm not going to use, um, but if you will, and you're concerned about how that would feel against your back, if it's going to be annoying, it would not to me. And then, of course, the arms do fold. So that's great. You want to play your instrument. 
can easily, you know, get in there. I would probably lock mine so I'm not going back at the time, play, and then later you go back to work and it's easy enough to just bring them back up, which is something, again, I can't understand why many other manufacturers haven't done that. That's exactly why I bought this chair. Again, there were no reviews, so I was worried about, is it comfortable, is it a decent chair? Um, I had written Wavebone and asked what the refund policy is, and basically they were saying if shipping is too expensive for them to do refunds, or, or, or maybe they were saying that it wouldn't be free shipping to return, it wasn't really clear. But, you know, kind of you're taking a, taking a chance when you buy something with no review, so hopefully this uh, helps. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Uh, again, so far I like it. It is comfortable, not hurting my butt. Back feels good. The mesh material is not the greatest, but it's certainly not bad. Um, I've been able to be fine with it so far, and maybe I would have gone with the cushion bottom in hindsight. Because one thing that does kind of suck, actually, I should mention, I sit a lot like this too, you know. And right now I. I'm wearing my dress-up clothes, you know. I'm in sweatpants, but I'm wearing shorts. And you know, when you're in shorts, now you don't have shoes on and stuff, and you're like this, and it's just your bare skin, kind of putting weight with this leg down on your on your foot, rubbing against this mesh. It is a little abrasive there. Uh, there's been a few times where I was uncomfortable. Either. So I might maybe recommend the mesh. Uh, excuse me, the cushion bottom over the mesh. But otherwise, even if you go with the mesh. It is pretty good, 300 bucks, so it's not crazy, like those Herman Millers and, and so on, those are in 1100 range and up, uh, so, and a lot of adjustability too. So anyway, there you have it. This is my review of the Wavebone Voyager 1 chair. There's also a Voyager 2, which I think is basically the same thing, plus it's got like a, a higher section for your uh, head and head support, which I didn't need. Anyway, take care, bye.